Welcome back to Top Choice Movies Recap. Today's film was released in 2002. The thriller and romance drama movie is titled Unfaithful. Watch out for spoilers. Sit back and enjoy it. Ed Sumner played by Richard Gere and Connie Sumner played by Diane Lane are a moderately aged couple. They live in a beautiful home in suburban Westchester, New York with Charlie played by Eric Basullivan, their eight-year-old son. They appear to be really enamored with one another even following 11 years of marriage. Ed runs his own armored truck organization. Connie does magnanimous raising support, which requires intermittent drives into New York City. On one of these outings so breezy individuals are in a real sense being blown around, and Connie slams into a young French fellow named Paul Martel played by Olivier Martinez, and falls and scratches her knee. The young and sexually confident Frenchman welcome Connie up to his place so she can look after her bruised knees. Although very attracted to him, she flees the scene when he makes a romantic move. But she soon comes back. In her third rendezvous with Paul at the loft, Connie gives in to her yearning for sexual passion. On the train back home, she replays in her mind all the juicy moments of their erotic connection. The affair that started out with hesitation soon leaps into addiction. This prompts a call and visit whenever she is in the city, then, at that point, stumbles into the city for the sole reason for seeing Paul. Connie can't get enough of Paul. She even has sex with him in the restroom of a restaurant while her two women friends wait anxiously for her at the table. Ed sees the ungainliness in their relationship very quickly, and his doubts are additionally stimulated when he gets Connie in clearly false, and when a terminated representative suggests that there are things about Ed's family that he doesn't know about. At last he recruits a confidential specialist, who before long provides pictures of Connie and Paul together. Ed goes to Paul's loft, and during the conversation that follows, he sees a gift he had once given Connie that she as of late gave Paul. Ed loses his poise and hits Paul over the head, killing him. He then encloses Paul's body by a rug, cleans off all that he has contacted, and wipes all the blood off the floor. While he is doing this, Connie calls and leaves a message on Paul's replying mail that she needs to end the unruly affair. He also deletes Connie's message on Paul's intercom. Ed stacks the rug with Paul's body into the storage compartment of his vehicle, and later dumps it in a landfill. Presently Connie sees ponderousness in their relationship. Cops visit examining Paul's vanishing, since they track down Connie's name and address in his condo. Some time later, after the body is found, they return once more. She is sly, attempting to disguise that she knew Paul by any stretch of the imagination, and the police effectively get the irregularities in her story. Ed astounds her by deceiving the police to substantiate her story. After she finds the photos from the confidential agent, the two at long last confessed all with one another. Ed offers to hand himself over, yet Connie prevents him, saying that they can traverse this together and move on. One night, Edward stops at a traffic signal and Connie asks him if they should flee the country. But it turns out that Edward has stopped his car in front of a police station to confess his crime. Moral Lessons There are several sex-related lessons to be learned from Unfaithful. One is spoiler alert sleeping with another man's wife may get you killed, but the one worth noting is that secret sex, although not exactly morally correct, is fun as hell. The movie explores the love, deceit, guilt, anger and breaking point of husband and wife. Aside from asking if a marriage can recover from adultery, the story probes further into the areas of deception and suspicion, showing how potentially anyone could be pushed over the edge, and how it's almost easier to forgive a murderer than an adulteress. I like the depiction of strong consequences for the character's actions. These days, married women are just as tempted as married men. Connie loves her husband and child, is happy in her life, but, in a way, is taken for granted. I think women will understand the temptation she encounters and likewise how she tries to do the right thing. But whether a woman would handle the situation the same way or not is debatable, 
and should spark insightful discussions with husbands, boyfriends and especially among girlfriends afterward. Still, it would be interesting to see a story of infidelity where the character's actions are influenced by some form of religious conscience, especially from a subtle Christian perspective, where they forgive each other and experience godly healing and restoration of the relationship afterward. The church is dealing with this very issue, as is evidenced by our high divorce rate today. The good from this film will be the many discussions couples will have after seeing the movie. Hopefully the dialogue will reveal some areas that were too uncomfortable to explore before. Being faithful to your partner is the real deal, no matter the temptation. You can always work things out with your spouse no matter how bad the state of things in your home. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to share your thoughts on the movie you just watched in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe for more movie recaps to come your way. Stay safe.